Hey guys, Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist in Bali, Indonesia. Stayed up uh, with some uh, Nomad Capitalist insiders and clients up in Abud for about a week. Had a great time with them. Now down here at a uh, fantastic hotel in Nusa Dua on the beach uh, called the Laguna. Really nice uh, hotel, part of the luxury collection. Walking around here, had a thought that tied in with something that I hear from a lot of folks uh, and have heard from as soon as I started talking about this stuff as Nomad Capitalist. And that is, hey Andrew, I'd love to leave my home country, the US, Canada, what have you. I'd love to go overseas, I wanna do what you're doing, and oh, by the way, I'm tired of paying taxes. If only I could leave and stop paying taxes. But you don't understand. I've got, uh, you know, they don't have Taco Bell anywhere else. How am I gonna survive without my Taco Bell? I can't do it. There are a lot of reasons people say that they want to go offshore, they want to live overseas, they want to live the nomad capitalist lifestyle, but they find reasons why they can't. Some are more legitimate than others, but ultimately it's up to you to figure out which reasons are legitimate to you and to push, pack, uh, push past the excuses, which is what we talk about a lot. But had a thought as I'm walking around the Laguna here. The Laguna reminds me of all of the Januarys I spent as a two, three, four, five, six year old, hanging out with my family in Maui the Hyatt Regency in Maui and uh, elsewhere in Hawaii, in the islands. Looks very similar. Clientele looks kind of similar, looks like the same kind of tourist vibe, the same kind of luxury hotel, they do everything for you, everything costs more than it should kind of vibe. And got me thinking, you know, if you're from the United States and Hawaii's your go-to place, why not live overseas and make Bali your go-to place? doesn't seem a whole lot different to me in many ways than Hawaii is. People speak English, got fast internet here, a lot of things look pretty much the same. And I think that you can take that idea and apply it in so many other places. People I know from California who say, I like to surf. I could never leave California. Well, Chile is like the mirror image of California. They've got surfing, they've got skiing, they've got just the opposite time of year. But uh, Joey, in many ways, resembles California, even down to speaking Spanish. So the idea is that if you're afraid to leave your home country because there are certain things that you're going to give up, what I found in many, many years of doing this, almost a decade now, is that you can find those things somewhere else. And that's why I like a nomadic lifestyle, personally, because I like to go to Kuala Lumpur and go to the Majestic Hotel, have afternoon tea for a fraction of the price of the Ritz in London, and then go to Europe and then go to South America and, and enjoy the best that everything has to offer. So uh, this summer, I'm going to be in London for a little while, getting my annual dose of English-speaking country in, where people are native English speakers, because that's important to me, and I'll do some shopping. And then I'll go to other places and get what they have to offer, and I can travel around the world and get the best of what each place has to offer. and over the course of a year, I'm getting everything that I would get in the United States, and then some, plus the tax benefits, plus just so many other benefits. So if you're worried about leaving your home country because I'm going to miss X or Y or Z, the moral of the story that I've found is you can replace it somewhere else. There are beaches in other countries. There are ski slopes in other countries. There are nice hotels in other countries, nice restaurants, not so nice restaurants, fast food restaurants. Whatever it is that you want, I'll bet you can find it somewhere else. And I think the trap that people get hung up on is following the, the quote-unquote leader. I see so much in this nomad industry, not with what I do, but more of the digital nomad, backpackers, people who are new to this kind of stuff, where everyone goes to Bangkok or to Chiang Mai, or there are some other places that are not popping up like Budapest or um, Belgrade, uh, Medellin, Colombia. And that's okay. And some of those places are fantastic. I love Budapest. I love Colombia. Um, they may be right for you. They may not be right for you. What I found working with high earning, high achieving six and seven figure income earners is that they don't always want to go to Chiang Mai. Some do. Some want to go and live in a, in a beautiful, some want to go live in Malta and live in a $5,000 a month uh, place. So there's no one that is allowed to tell you how to live the nomad capitalist lifestyle. You don't have to follow what everyone else is doing. And by not following whatever, what everyone else is doing and by opening yourself up to the possibility that other countries have the things that you're afraid to leave behind, I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised. Go out and find your perfect place. For me, those perfect places are a little bit higher end than some others want. Maybe your perfect place is lowest cost of living possible and saving money, putting money in the bank, making investments with the money that you save. 
there's no right or wrong way to do it. But do understand that everything that I could have ever wanted in the United States, with a few exceptions, you know, free tap water occasionally, uh, or occasionally I want a smash burger. But 99% of the stuff that I want and 100% of the stuff that I need is available all around the world. You can create your own nomad lifestyle to make it happen for you. Even family, by the way. You know, people say, oh, what about my family? My family came to visit me for the last two Christmases in uh, Warsaw, Poland. We stayed at the Bristol Hotel. Fabulous time had by all. Um, and by the way, just because you're a nomad capitalist doesn't mean you can't go back and visit your home country every once in a while. But anything that you want from your home country, you can find somewhere else. There are really no excuses left to, that stop you because you can't have what you want somewhere else. It's just a matter of going out and finding what that best place is for you and doing it.